All right, I'm going to attempt to do a, a really as quick as possible video <clears throat> over how a 15 speed works and what the shift pattern is like. I've uh, done this before, but some people didn't get it. Some people thought I overcomplicated it. So we're just going to make it simple for you here. Um, I'm going to assume that you already understand the difference between a 10 speed and a 9 speed shift pattern. Uh, not going to elaborate on, on all the other transmissions. Uh, what I have drawn out here is a, a straight 10 speed pattern. Um, and there's no need to bring up the horseshoe or the turnaround or, you know, the dash slapper, you know, RTO. Uh, the only difference there is the fact that these two gear positions are switched. They, the, the gears just have different places in the transmission. Other than that, it's the same thing. Um, so that point is, is, is moot. Uh, now a 15 speed has a switch, a blue switch on a factory transmission. That blue switch on the side is, uh, to, for you to activate, uh, or drop the transmission into deep reduction. You have to be in low range. So you have to have the front switch, the range valve, down. And then you can push that, that splitter valve forward. And that puts you in deep reduction. Um, you can shift through this five-speed pattern in low range in deep reduction. That's why they call it a 15-speed, because you, you have, strictly speaking, deep reduced one, two, three, four, five. You also have your standard, you know, low range gears, one through five, and then on the high range, six through 10. So that's why they call it a 15 speed because you have, strictly speaking, 15 gears. Not all of those gears are useful though. Um, most, uh, so, uh, not most, some of the gears in deep reduction are redundant or duplicates of gears that already exist in the standard low range. Uh, you can think of deep reduction as basically a two gear ratio drop. Uh, if you were to take, I'm going to use third here because it's really simple. Third deep reduced is, for all intents and purposes, the same thing as first gear in the low range. Just your straight up normal first gear. Standard first is pretty much the same as deep reduced third. So we can we can take this to these two gears as well. Reduce fourth, drop it down two gears, basically standard range, low range second. And again, fifth, drop it down two gears, fifth deep reduced is for all intents and purposes, the same thing as your standard low range third gear. So not all the gears on a 15 speed are useful. Uh, that being said, when I drove one, I found basically these, these three gears to be of any use. If you really need that crawling ratio, you're heavy, you're, you know, you're in mud, you're, you're trying to climb a hill. Basically all the odds are stacked against you. These gears can come in useful and they're really close too, because you're, you're, you've got the, the gears drop down into such a low ratio. They're tiny steps. You can shift them really quick. So you can kind of keep grabbing that momentum. That's where a 15 speed becomes useful. If you have to, you can shift all these five gears in deep reduction, but it's only going to get you up to about standard third range speed. So, when if if you drop the transmission into deep reduction, let's say just you grab first or second, because if you grab reduced third, you might as well go to first. Um, so, we'll say you start out deep reduced first. Maybe you shift to two, maybe three. Um, 
once you get up into the gears and you've got enough momentum or speed uh, and you can you start rolling you might as well come out of deep production and, and grab one of these standard low range gears okay um, there's no need to shift all of them because at some point you've got to come back and like I said if you get up to here all these gears are redundant so you're gonna you're gonna come back you're gonna come out of deep production go back here then shift a, there's just no need to do all that so um, you know that's that's about as as, sim as simply as you can put it um, hope that's helpful you know if you if you you're curious about how a 15 speed works the shift pattern what deep reduction is well that's what it is that's what it does that's what it's what its use is so uh hope that help you